Hello, boys and girls. I'm here with my little buddies, Tigger. Hello, boys and girls. And Mr. Crow. Hi, boys and girls. Well, we got some big question for you, Tigger and Mr. Crow. First, let's start with Mr. Crow. Yes, any question. Why was the little mermaid doing, doing her, her day with flounder? What were they doing, in underwater in the ocean? Well, she and Flounder, they were on a human treasure hunt. They were exploring and they were in an adventure. And where did they go? To a ship, because that's where they have treasures. A ship. Okay, now, a question for you, Tigger. Yes? What did they found in that ship? They found a chest. It had um, a fork and an old pipe. And Ariel was so excited she can't wait to put them in her collection of treasures. But who found them too? In the, in, in the ship? The shark! The big mean old shark! Yeah, he went roar with his chain jaw like he was about to eat them. Ah, 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 ouch! You scared me, Tinker. Wait a minute, I'm supposed to do this. Hmm. Ah! Get back over here! No! You'll never catch me! Yeah! No! Ah, you got me! Well, that shark was very fast, but Flounder and Ariel, they always found a way to trick him. Yeah, just like the old anchor, he was stuck. He couldn't even get out. He couldn't get them. So, another question. While Ariel and Flounder, they were on their adventures, what else did they see during the adventures? They saw a ship, and that ship was beautiful in the ocean. It was floating on the water. Yeah, and our friend Flounder and Skedaddle, he was very funny. He caught a fork of a, a double magger and a snorplet on the pipe. Hi, oh, Skedaddle. Scuttle, sorry, scuttle. Hi, scuttle. Silly seagull bird. Yeah, that's why we don't trust scuttle. But he's very funny. And what was his job? A human expert. Yeah, he knows everything, but he does not know very good. Oh, scuttle. Silly, silly seagull bird. But okay, back to the question about the boat. What did they? What did she saw on the boat? She saw hmm, shipmates and a prince, Eric, and she was looking at him just like the moon shining through the beautiful sky. And as she gazed up on him, she was falling in love. She asked Scuttle, who is that? Look at, no, he didn't say that, sorry. He said, look at that handsome young man. Is he the prince? And Scuttle was not looking good. He was comparing Prince Eric to Max the dog. He said, oh, that, that, Prince Eric's so hairy. Yeah, but it was Max. Hi, Scuttle. But, what happens next? Oh, let me get to the point. This big storm came in like, Jaw! and lightning strikes on the ship. And the big waves, they were all over the ship, back and forth, back and forth, until everybody went off the ball. Yeah, Prince Eric, Jaw! and Prince Eric was underwater. So, Ariel didn't know what to do, but she did the right thing. She went underwater to save Prince Eric like this. 
and she put him on the shore of the beach. Ariel was so in love with him, she couldn't stop looking at him while he was laying down sleeping on the, on the beach. On the beach. Oh, that's so beautiful. I know. She wanted to kiss him, but she heard Prince Eric's shipmates. So she left. Back into the ocean. And Prince Eric was laying on the beach by himself, and the shipmates were running towards him. But Ariel will remember that day that she saw her first true love. Yeah, true love. And that was a beautiful story. I know. Sometimes I wish if Prince Eric would notice something about him. He didn't see Ariel, but she saw him first and she fell in love she couldn't stop thinking about him while well, they were in her secret cave of treasure of humans and she had a whole bunch of treasure collections in her secret cave yeah and flounder was with her smiling but ariel was all in love and that's how she met the prince True love always works. Yes. Well, boys and girls, sometimes it's good to have someone to keep a eye on you. Yeah, like your best friends or your family or someone that, that really loves you is going to be there for you. Just like Ariel did for Eric. And Flounder did for Ariel and Scuttle did for Ariel. Everybody is always in love, but it's better to know each other, right, boys and girls? Yes. All right now. Right now, just be yourself, boys and girls. Okay? We miss you all. Mm. Good night, everybody. And remember, dream beautiful, just like Ariel and Cinderella. Their dreams have came true, and someday your dreams will come true. Good night, everybody. Good night, boys and girls. Oh, I wish I could dream of a watermelon to eat. <laughs> silly, Tigger. Oh, yeah, I'm being silly. No, you're being silly. No, you're being silly. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, everybody has a, has a dream. Right, boys and girls? We all had dreams. Just like Ariel and Cinderella, their dreams came true. And maybe something your dreams will come true, boys and girls, okay? And remember, school comes first right now. And always, if your friends are there for you, your friends are always going to be there for you. At school, or anywhere, just like Founder did with Ariel. And Scuttle, too. Sometimes it's important to have your dreams, boys and girls, because someday they will come true. Believe me. And remember I said yesterday, you look outside at night and look up in the sky and you see and you find a shooting star, make a wish, boys and girls. And believe me, your dreams will come true. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. And later I'll do another story time. Bye-bye.